Oh, oh yeah. Nah. What the fuck? Who? Oh, oh shit. yeah. Nah, shit. No, yeah. No, yeah. Fuck yeah. no, fuck out of here. Yeah, that's what I Fuck out of here. I don't know if it's my name. I don't know if Nah. It's just. It's all real. Yeah, so y'all wanted me to talk about this shit, so. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. Travis Scott. Rodeo, the deluxe version. Now, we all know that I'm not really a big fan of his type of work. Not saying that he whack or anything, but I just never been intrigued by him to actually talk about one of his projects. But I have to say this shit was kind of cool, but yeah, it's like I heard it before, so let's talk about it. Now he got 16 tracks on the deluxe version, which is the version that I heard, and for his features... He got T.I. on here, Quavo from the Migos, Future, 2 Chainz, Juicy J, Casey Hill, The Weeknd, Sway Lee, who I think is from um, Ray Strimmer, Chief Keef, Kanye on here, Justin Bieber, Young Thug, Toro, Toro Mimoy, or however the fuck you say that name, and um, Schoolboy Q. So basically, let's talk about it, let's get into it. Now, of course, you know you're from H-Town, you know, the rep. The vibe I got from this, you know, trippy, druggy, you know, of course, sex, life, money, auto-tuned, you know, the Kid Cudi type Kanye West vibe. And it starts off basically with pornograph, pornography, my bad, featuring T.I., you know, he doing like the little, I guess you want to say interlude, I guess, talking through the record. At the beginning and the ending, which was pretty dope. But I like that song. I'm not even going to lie. It's about sex, drugs, you know, shit like that. Then it goes into um, Oh My slash This Side featuring Quavo. That shit was dope. You know, the first half is entitled Oh My. Um, the second half is This Side. I definitely like that. I like how the beat switched up at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. It was a good record. I ain't had no problem with it. Uh, moving on to number three. I didn't like that. 3500. Number four, Wasted, I didn't like that. And it goes into number five, which is 90210 featuring Casey Hill, which was a good record, you know what I mean? Again, the beat switch up about the 2.30 mark, you know. I definitely liked the second half, thought it was solid. The first half was dope, you know, um, the beat, her vocals on it. But his verses seem short the way he'll rap, and then it goes into um, the hook. So that's the first half of the track album. six, Pray For uh, Love featuring Weekend, couldn't get into it. Nightcrawler, I thought it would be good, but it wasn't. That was crazy. Now, the Piss on Your Grave record with Kanye, it got that rock rap type, you know, um, vibe to it. It was dope in a way. I know a lot of people don't like it. You know, I had no problem with it. Of course, Ye was crazy on that motherfucker. But I appreciated that record. Um, Antidote, um, he talked about the cameraman incident at the um, when he did his performance. I thought he sounded like Ye, but it still was a cool song. Um Moving on to Impossible, couldn't get with it. I tried, listened to it five times, still couldn't fuck with it. And at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, moving on to number 11, Marie, I'm Drunk. On Apple Music, it didn't have the song listed. I guess you had to buy the album, but it had Justin Bieber rapping and singing. Young Thug did his thing. I feel they should do a visual for it. It wasn't a bad song. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, the last half, half of the album, um, it was different, but yet I still got through it. Uh, flying High, I didn't like it, sorry. Uh, I Can Tell, I didn't appreciate it, I didn't like it. Apple Pie, um, he actually rapped where it's like you understood the lyrics and he had some kind of substance to it. And that's the end of the project as far as the um, standard version, T.I. Close the album. I fuck with that. Now it moves on to number 15, uh, OK All Right featuring Schoolboy Q, which is split in half with the first half being OK. The second half is all right. Uh, the production was solid. I like the ad libs behind the vocals. His verses um, was solid. Schoolboy verses was solid. It definitely was a good look. And the last track, uh, Never Catch Me, talked about his life basically, you know, over a dark beat. But the track was kind of short, in my personal opinion. But overall, man, first impression of listening to the album, it was cool for what it was. Uh, I enjoyed nine out of the 16 records, which to me is. I guess all right, and you know I give it a six out of ten. It's not bad for a first listen, first time ever hearing a Travis um, Scott project. But I do feel like with all the hype that this album had, it was kind of a letdown. But you definitely hear the influences from you know Kid Cudi, Kanye, and I don't know where people think that Kanye got his influence from him when Kanye did 808s. Nobody even heard of Travis Scott. I know I didn't, you know. So I think people should stop saying that. 
definitely my personal opinion. But other than that, hope you have a good Labor Day. Travis Scott Rodeo Deluxe Review. I'm out.